All right, now let's start keeping score because that's kind of important in this, a game like this. Now, while we're in the ball, we want to know if the ball it touches the right side or the left side to increment scores. Now, unfortunately, in the sensing, we don't really have, like we have touching for mouse pointer, edge, opponent, or paddle, but we don't have anything that'll tell us if we're touching the left edge or the right edge. Scratch has no idea. So instead of a touching thing, we're gonna sense if the ball goes past, if it goes too far to the right. So like if the ball goes this far right, it's past the paddle, we'll call that a point. So the way we're gonna keep track of this, we're gonna to go to motion and we wanna see the X position of the ball because that's the left to right. Now we'll drag the ball so it's almost touching the wall, but not quite. Because if it touches the wall before it reaches the number that we're going to choose here, then it's just going to bounce and it's not going to count a point. So if we take a look at this and we see the ball is almost at the edge, we have the ball position is 213. So essentially, if the ball reaches an X position of 213, that should be a point for the AI. So if we go into control and grab couple if blocks out of here we'll grab two of them put them underneath each other and now we need to go to uh, operators and we're gonna grab a less than and a greater than so now for the opponent to get in a, to get a point the X position has to become greater than 213 for me so here's the greater than one that I made. So we'll put 213 in there. And then actually, uh, yeah, 213. And then if we go negative, probably be able to use the same number. Negative 215. Actually, let's, let's use 215 for both. Just because it's a nicer number. And it should still work. So 215. Now if we go back to motion and drag X position into both of these, we are now checking if the X position of the ball goes less than negative 215. So if it goes any farther left than it is right now, that's a point. And if it goes any farther right, if X position becomes greater than 215, means if the ball gets any greater than this that's a point now we need a variable to keep track of these points so let's go into data and click make a variable now, I am just gonna call this player one and uh, leave for all sprites check that's fine um, cloud variable don't worry about that so player one for all sprites hit OK now make another variable, and call it player2, same thing, for all sprites, hit OK. So now we have two variables that we can use to keep score. So you see them showing up on the screen over here. So if we hit change by 1, that means it's going to get bigger by a value of 1. So if we drag that out here, now, if X position is less than 215, so that means if the ball hits the left wall, that should be a point for player one, because this paddle did good. So we'll go change that, click the arrow, click player one. Now, if the ball was greater than 215, that's a point for player two. So grab change player two by one and throw it in there. Make sure you're using X positions here, not Y positions. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, we can go to motion and uncheck the X position because we don't need that up there. Let's just drag these up to make them look a little bit nicer. So put player one on player one side, player two on player two side. Now, oh, another thing, when you're using variables, 
you always want to initialize them because right now it doesn't have a starting value it will most likely be zero but you always want to be sure that you know what your value your variables are starting at so if you go set player two to zero and grab two of those and make one of them player one and one is player two so now what this is saying is when the green flag is clicked a variable called player one is set to zero and a variable called player two is set to zero and then everything we had before it's going to go to the center it's going to not rotate it's going to pick a random angle all of that stays it's the same and then if the ball ever hits the left side it it's going to count as a point if the ball hits the right side it's going to count as a point for player two now if we hit run notice that went up by two that's not quite what we want and that time it went up by one so that's better up by four and it really shouldn't continue going when it hits the wall so we are going to fix that in the next video